for the airlines, for small business, $1,200 checks. Uh, but you just said that you were shutting down talks with Nancy Pelosi. How do you want to see aid play out? And what do you want as far as a priority on stimulus? Well, I shut down talks two days ago because they weren't working out. Now they are starting to work out. We're starting to have some very productive talks. And she wants to happen, too. She doesn't want it not to happen. I believe she wants to ha wants it to happen because it's, it's so good for our country. We really need it. It wasn't our workers' fault. It wasn't our airlines' fault that China did this terrible thing to us, and I will not be forgetting about that. China did this. This was all done by China. And we shouldn't be hurting our workers because China put the curse on, because this was a, a horrible scourge, a horrible, horrible thing that they did. And... So I said, uh, I said, look, we're not getting anywhere. Shut it down. And, and I'm willing to, I didn't want to waste time. But in any event, after that, we got back. You know, both sides very capable. We got back. We started talking again. And we're talking about airlines. And we're talking about uh, a bigger deal than airlines. We're talking about a deal with $1,200 per person. We're talking about other things. But it's not anybody's so you, fault. They were trying to get things, and we were trying to get things, and it wasn't going anywhere. I shut it down. I don't want to play games. And then we reopened, and I see the markets are doing well, but I think we have a really good chance of doing something. And Nancy Pelosi, look, she's not my favorite person. She impeached me for no reason. So when you get impeached for no reason, you have a little bit of a telltale lag. Well, hello, and good evening. Welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 8th, 2020. Well, it is official. Today, President Trump has basically officially said that Stimulus Package talks are back on the table. And basically, although Trump still fights for a, some, for a standalone bill for, for people to get a second stimulus check, Nancy Pelosi is against a standalone bill because she doesn't want to neglect other groups of people that need money as well. However, yesterday Pelosi was working on a standalone bill for the airlines with Steven Mnuchin. Although Trump called off the stimulus talks on Tuesday, Pelosi and Mnuchin, they have continued on the negotiations they did they continue negotiations on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So basically today. And I'm guessing they can do the exact same thing tomorrow. The president's debate is gonna go virtual. Plus I will give you a my take on the, the presidential debate, the vice presidential debates that happened yesterday in Salt Lake City, Utah, where I live. I did not attend them, but I did watch them. It was interesting. It's cool. I liked it. Trump said that he will no longer be participating in the debate because of the format change. Wow. It's got to be his way or the highway, huh? Well, I'll choose the highway because I'm not going to choose his way. That's not a good way to go. On Tuesday evening, Trump said he was ready to focus on signing a standalone bill and the Basically, he was wanting to focus on that issue. On Wednesday, President Trump called to basically made a call out to Nancy Pelosi, basically telling her to uh, move fast so he could get ready to sign the bill. He's basically calling her out, saying that she's too slow. Well, the bill is has to go through the House and the Senate before it reaches him. So even if Pelosi gets a bill out, the Senate has to pass it first. Pelosi said the reason why she is against a standalone bill for the second stimulus check is because it leaves out children, school safety, and it leaves out our heroes. Ooh, wow, our heroes. Wouldn't that be all the essential employees out there? Not just including the frontline workers. I'm talking about all the people that got the paperwork that said, hey, you're an essential worker. You, can't, you have to go to work. You don't get to be quarantined with the rest of the United States. I should know this because I happen to be one of those essential workers. And continue on to say, she don't want to do a standalone bill because the Americans need more. Well, what we need is we need monthly stimulus checks. Yeah, our, our national debt may go up, but 
there's easy ways to resolve it. I mean, Biden's already talking about raising the um, taxes on the people that make over $400,000 a year, increasing the taxes on capital gains, which is the stock market, as well as other ways to uh, make money to, to get us out of debt. And if they really think about it, if they actually legalize marijuana or cannabis all over the United States and they have their own grow ops, they can make billions. Our government can have be a self-sustaining entity and make billions just off that one product alone because the research, the development, and the people that need to use it for medical purposes. I know I have to be one of them because I need it for my back. My back's pretty messed up. It's been that way for, well, since I was 17 years old. I'll get into that a bit. I'll get into that maybe later in this conversation or in a different talk, in a different, uh, different time or different day. Let's see here. On Tuesday and Wednesday, Pelosi and Mnuchin were working on the standalone airline bill, but there has been an outcry from the restaurant industry. Lobbyists for the restaurant industry say, why should the airlines get special treatment when the restaurant industry was hit even harder than they were? And then the people are saying, why are, why are the um, airlines basically getting the special treatment as well? How about unemployment? How about stimulus checks? How about the American people? You know, there's a, the American people are out crying because they want it, the biz, big businesses want them to get uh, get bailed out above the people. Due to the um, backlash, basically of the people crying out and the restaurants crying out, Nancy Pelosi said that said this on Thursday, which was today, she will no longer support a standalone bill for the airlines. As of now, the airline bill is over and the stimulus talks are resuming in full force. And here are some debate facts. During the debate, Pence interrupted Harris 10 times. Harris interrupted Pence five times. And if you, if you all notice how Pence has snow white hair, if you saw that big old fat fly that actually landed on his head, that Pence didn't even shrug or even move, he gave that fly two, point, two minutes and three seconds of air time. Well, you know, you know what flies are attracted to, don't you? They're attracted to trash. So that tells you what Pence is. He's trash. And the next debate was scheduled on October 15th. Trump said this morning that he is not going to participate in the debates. Due to the debates going virtual, Trump believes the virtual debate is a waste of his time. Oh, and additional information for you guys. Nancy Pelosi is planning to enact the 25th, well, should I say invoke the 25th Amendment on President Trump. Let me get my phone here, and I'll tell you exactly what the 25th Amendment is because I actually have it on my phone. I didn't. I wanted to look that up because it was very important to my uh, thing here. Let's see here. As soon as it pulls up here, the 25th Amendment. The 25th Amendment, proposed by Congress and ratified by the state, in the aftermath of an assassination of the President John F. Kennedy. Provides the procedures of replacing the president or vice president in the event of death, removal, resignation, or incapacitation. The Watergate scandal of 1970 saw an application of these procedures. First with Gerald Ford replaced Sparrow, Andrew, as vice president. Then when he replaced Richard Nixon as president. And then when Nixon Rockefeller filled the resulting vacancy and became the vice president. So basically she is looking to basically get rid of uh, President Trump and probably Pence too. Because if, because if you guys watch the debate, I mean, I, I heard it from what I saw, it wasn't as bad as Trump. Oh my God, Trump, Trump and Biden was bad. I mean, Trump interrupted Biden, I think like 77 times and Biden only interrupted Trump 22 times. But yet, Trump wouldn't shut up, and basically, the same thing goes with Pence. He don't know how to shut up either. So, 
I think I think Pence and Trump make a pretty a very perfect married couple because they don't know how to shut up. And they don't know how to let people get their word in edgewise without interrupting them and being very rude. But they said, I mean, I, I gave you my slight overview of the um, debates that happened in Salt Lake City, Utah, where I live, um, yesterday. If you have any further questions, please let me know. And also, I, like I said, I am still always continuing looking to looking for viewer content. This is content provided by you, my viewers, that I actually can show me your circumstances, your situations, as well as you talking. Um, a maximum of like 10 minute video if possible, because I do have a Dropbox that I, you actually can send it to. And I'd actually like to get some of this video so I can actually send it, well, not send it, but put it in my videos so other people can see how bad you guys actually have it. And hopefully my videos will actually be able to make it all the way up to the Senate and the House and even the President, hopefully before he gets kicked out of office. Because that's what I'm hoping is Trump needs to be getting kicked out of office. But um, so this way they can see that people can see it. And like I said, the, the, it's called the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package. Well, you are the people. And I would actually like to get your commentary, your videos of how your situation is. So I can add to my videos. So we can actually get our voices out there and heard. And if you do like my videos, please hit that like button. That big old thumbs up, you know. Leave me comments because I always respond to all my comments. And if you want to hear more of my stuff, hit the subscribe and turn your notifications on. But until next time, you guys have an excellent Wednesday. Please stay safe out there. Because remember, we're all in this together. And this is all we have. We don't have the Congress and the President to help us to support us no more. We're all in this by ourselves. So until then, you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,